everybody to another episode on this 2021 fucking uh, season of High and Hungry for y'all. And let me tell you, man, we're in a very artistic spot right now. It's quite a little, it's quite a little gem because I didn't honestly I didn't know that this place was was like looked like this inside. You know what I mean? It's it's definitely like a, a brand new spot. And uh, let me tell you what I got in my hand. I got a beer in my hand. Yeah, Chris, yeah, you do. Chris is actually having a blast at this brewery that we're at. And, <laughs> You know, to, to sum it up to you guys, we're at the one and only Arrow Lodge Brewery here in uh, the city of Covina. And we're bringing you guys a special delight over here because this this place has just been uh, it, it's been upgraded in so many ways where it's like you've got this lounge over here that's going to be available for people that want to come enjoy shows. And, you know, there's nothing like we've heard di- different pairings throughout time. You know, like I remember when the first time I heard somebody mention a pairing with beer, it was ludicrous, chicken and beer. Oh, chicken and beer. Yeah. yeah. That was the first time I ever heard. I was like, oh, there's stuff that you could pair with beer. So obviously, you know, if you're going to be headed to any kind of brewery or if you're used to the whole brewery life, you know, they usually have a bomb ass food truck or, so, or some kind of food vendor on there. And they're usually very picky. The more better the, 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 more better the, the beer is at the brewery, the more picky they are with the food because yeah. it has to it has to complement the beer. I mean, I'm over here having uh, this buddy, buddy, buddy IPA. And I also got the hey, these are see, man, it's explain the collabs. I know. You so know. this right here is uh, they're both uh, collabs. This is uh, this one right here is uh, De La Soul in uh, in homage to the Three Feet High and Rising, uh, which is their first album that came out in 89. At a whopping 8.5 percent alcohol. <laughs> level. And this is in uh, collaboration with Tribe Called Quest. It's got the low end theory colors and stripes on the side. And do that, do that, do do that, that, that. I don't drink, as everyone knows. But, but this is the best hearing you explain what these beers are because I wouldn't be able to break them down the same way you did. <laughs> so I'm, I'm like, I hope you guys are appreciating this watching this because C-Minus has been sober for eight years. And the fact that he he doesn't, he doesn't really know like the, the get down of the beer game kind of like I do, but he was able to break this down. You broke this shit down like without knowing anything, bro. Like just, I haven't even gotten into the beer yet. Yeah. I mean, like he, you know, like uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know, I don't know personally what either of these beers taste like, but I can tell you off top, these you, cans are fucking sick. They taste really great. It's like, and I feel that. I don't know. I remember like my older brother's era. He used to collect certain beer cans. You know uh-huh. what I mean? Like he used to like because it used to be special edition. It used to be more of like a little uh, collector's series type thing. Or like you know, he used to just collect them for some reason when you're young. I used to see a lot of fools do that. Oh, absolutely. But it's like nowadays that there are there are some cans, especially in the craft beer world, where you definitely want to collect them. It's like even if, even if you know it's gonna go bad, you just want it. If you're a real like hip hop head, like yeah, like man, uh, that's what I said. I was like, he's like, yo, you know, I'll bring out the beers for you. I was like, oh yeah, I just want some cans, dude. And these cans. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Be real trying to tell me that you can't <coughs> quiet a cough down with some beer. You watch me, Dad. You watch me. <laughs> <coughs> Anyways, <coughs> the one thing I'm telling you is that my favorite obviously if you guys see that if you guys have been following High Hungry for a while, you know that our iconic uh, logo or the most iconic logo that we have is the classic burger. The burger. And I mean I think we all here can agree, especially in the High Hungry crew, that uh a burger is just see. It seems a very go-to munchies for a stoner, but it could go a soul level. You could go gourmet, but you can also go very cheap if you want. You know what I mean? But sure. or, and I mean, I don't mean, I don't mean cheap is not necessarily like a bad thing. Sometimes we all want to eat the ninety-nine cents nuggets, bro. It's a, it's a part of being high and hungry and making buzz. Being high. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just want to do it, or sometimes you want to eat that ninety-nine cents double cheeseburger. However, oh. though, today we're gonna be having some smash burgers, and these burgers, I definitely know they were a smash here because I seen them sell out when they had when Arrow Lodge was uh, having an event here with them, and they paired up as the vendor. Yeah. So we're gonna be getting uh, the one and only son of a butcher smash burgers, and I'm actually excited because ain't nothing like greasy food in here, bro. I mean, I might need a tums and I need to run six miles the next day, but <laughs> I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie, I, hey. I, 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 I enjoy every bit of it. Hey, you know, I'm just stoked that we're eating a smash burger, and I'm in, we're in front of the Doom mural, which is fucking beautiful. R.I.P. Doom forever. And uh, yeah, I'm just, you know, it's good energy in here, man. I'm ready to eat, smoke some good weed and eat some good food. And let's, uh, and this is the crazy thing. It's like we're over here. It's like a lot of you guys don't know. It's like the founder and the owner of this brewery is the mayor of Covina. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's, and we're going to actually sit down and get an insight of how this place came out, came about and uh, to get down to some of the plans that he has. Because here's the thing, like. This isn't just a regular brewery that you want that you want to you know come here and just get. I mean, every, every every brewery you go there with the intention of having a few beers, having some good times, catching a little buzz or a big buzz. But 
this place doesn't just make people who are beer connoisseurs feel welcome. This makes us, everybody feels welcome. As you can fucking see, like there's gonna be a, a like there's gonna be many hip hop shows that are uh, gonna be taking place. At this this place like real hip hop shows. Yeah, like, man. See, might as name some of the artists because I don't know them. Not know, to offend anybody, but well, they just <laughs> had a visionary show a while back, and then coming up they have this show with Elzai from D House Shoes. Is going to be spinning. I think it's my brother House Shoes. Uh, yeah. So yeah, they have really good, like, if you're into, like, hip-hop and and good hip-hop and hip-hop, like, Doom and, and Wu-Tang and Just Visionaries some- and Elzai, like, this is a place you're going to come and enjoy to have a beer, eat some food, and kind of just bask in the art that's on the walls like I am, man. <laughs> You guys know I definitely fuck with the arts. I got my own little art collection and I can appreciate any place that has any kind of appreciation for the arts. And I'm here with the one and only, the owner of Arrow Lodge Brewery. Introduce yourself, my bro, to the people of High and Hungry. Yeah, what's up? What's up, High and Hungry uh, followers? Uh, my name is Victor Linares. I'm one of the owners of Arrow Lodge Brewing. And uh, yeah, welcome to my space. I mean, this is really just, you know, it's all passion stuff, stuff that I love. You created something that, uh, you know, that doesn't just attract the normal beer drinker. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, in a sense, it's like, you create an atmosphere like this where you have these murals painted up. Like, all right, so obviously, you know, you're late for friend. Yes. Yeah, so it's like, obviously you had to do the homage to Kobe Bryant. Yes, sir. What about the other, what about the purple shoes you got over there, bro? Yeah, I mean, like, I, I mean, I, I'm a sneaker guy, so, you know, growing up, I was that, like, little spoiled brat kid that mom was taking me to the mall to get me those Nikes. It's just like an iconic shoe that, you know, everybody recognizes, but... Are these the ones that Lil Bow Wow had, like, Mike? Mm-hmm. Being a sneakerhead, you know, I had to pay, like, a little tribute, you know, to the Jays, you know, the ones, which is probably one of the most popular shoes, you know, in the sneakerhead culture. The reason I wanted to, to, to have both of those things is because just those two murals, like, itself, like, art, it, it attracts like the individuals that follow these things. You know what I mean? Like you could come over here and have a beer at the Arrow Lodge Brewery and just watch the Laker game. You could also come over here if you're a sneakerhead and you appreciate it and you're like, hey, you know what? I might walk in here. Cause you know, believe me, like there's nothing that you want more when you have new shoes than somebody give you a compliment on. Yep. As much as, you know what I mean? As, if you have some rare ass shoes, like if you're like on some rare ass shit, like sneakerhead, the best thing you could do is be like, those are some sick ass shoes. Yep. Yep. And this is the place that you could walk in here with some sick ass shoes and get some compliments. These are some of the art pieces that I wanted to ask him about. So the significance of the record. So like, really, I mean, we just, you know, to be honest, it's, we haven't finished it. So we, Oh, okay, so yeah. in progress. No, no, yeah, so what, it, it's pretty much done. So like our homie Charlie, Whiskey Blossom, she did all the pieces in here, so props to her. Excellent. But the one thing that we're gonna have her put in there is, um, I wanted to pay like tribute to Nas's first album, Nomadic. Yes. So she's gonna write that inside the, 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 the vinyl. So again, you know, just, this is, it's, it's, it's really just what, what was influencing me when I was growing up, getting into the hip hop you know, scene. Um, so we wanted to pay tribute to Nas and, and that Nomadic album, which everyone knows is so iconic. Yes. Um, and you know, could be said to be the best hip hop album of all time. And this right here, man, that is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Please let me know how you chose this to be. So yeah, so I mean, you know, I got, I got the, you know, I got the Wu-Tang W, you know, tattoo for a reason. I mean, you know, growing up, you know, 93 when like Enter the Wu-Tang, you know, 36 Chambers album came out, you know, it, it made a big impact on my life and you know, where it took me into the hip hop you know, seeing growing up, you know, Charlie Brown was just something that, you know, we all know and, you know, Snoopy as Joe Cool. So, That's you know, very yeah. far. So ODB, you know, ODB, you know, Charlie Brown, um, you know, our, 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 my boy Brian Tilford, his dad, Mr. Tilford, drew this up for us and then Charlie laid it out and, you know, it, it came out like, it just, it's a cool piece, you know, just, I feel like it should be like on a shirt. Dude, it's the ODB with Joe Cool. <laughs> That's so sick. And we just want to create a vibe, you know? You're drinking beer and you're in a cool environment with things people can relate to. I mean, that's kind of what I think we're all looking for that, that cool vibe, you know, when you're, when you're hanging out. And yo, Victor, I, I can't even begin to tell you how mind blown I was to walk in to see a mural of this album cover yes. anywhere. But it's here. Yes. Like, RIP Doom forever. Yes, rest in peace, Doom. But yo, this is beautiful. We did a beer back in October called Doomsday with, with our boy Chris from Beer Zombies. And this is before anybody had known that Doom had passed. Um, so we were already big Doom fans, something we wanted to do. So we did the beer Doomsday, a, a pastry style of caramel. And, um, you know, once we found out what had happened, you know, I think, I think for me it was a no-brainer. We had to, you know, pay tribute to Doom 
um, you know, such an amazing artist. I get a kick out of Rue, um, you know, and I, I just, for, I think for a lot of people, a lot of hip hop heads, you know, it's a, it's a special piece that, you know, again, when you walk in here, I wanted this space to be impactful. I wanted you to feel it. Um, and I think this, this, this mural piece that Charlie did for us, you know, really exhibits that. <laughs> Y'all ready to get this burger boogie down? <laughs> so we got three signature burgers right now. The Chile Beso created by Gina. It's got tomatillos, jalapenos, bacon, uh, avocado, and ghost pepper cheese. This one right here is the Bring the Ruckus burger. This is what we featured when Arrow Lodge was uh, bringing out the Ghost Haze Killer. So we created a Wu Tang burger. Damn, it's got nice. a Wu sauce. It's got a Wu jam. It's a hot pepper jam. Bacon, cheese. It's a double stack. These are both half pounders too. Damn. Whoa. Oh my God. Rise and shine, motherfucker. <laughs> this one has Oaxaca cheese, chorizo, a fried egg, double patty cheese. It's got the Alchemist Salsa Roja. Okay. And then there's some avocado on the leaf as the well. The Alchemist Salsa Roja? Or you, like, oh yeah, it's, uh, it's four different uh, peppers. It's <laughs> salsa gua or uh, pepper guajillo, arbol, japones, and uh, there's, there's a fourth, Brian won't tell That's me. like the UN of salsa. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it sounds like it. <laughs> Oh, the yeah, yeah, this yes. one doesn't have onions because I know CeeLo don't like onions. Yeah, he's yeah. got beef with the onions, but yeah. that's okay. <laughs> that's perfect. That's uh, all you these two do, and we're gonna we're gonna bring out some cool. dogs, some other classic burgers, and Man. you know. Yo, can you can you tell us about because there was something special about the meat is like all yeah it consists of the burger patties because this. Y'all better hit that thumbs up after fucking listening to this interesting fact. This ain't no regular burger. <laughs> no, just no, like no. this ain't no regular beer over here. <laughs> no doubt, man. It pairs well. So uh, quickly, uh, the brand is Son of a Butcher Craft Fire. So we love our meats. We love the farm to table aspect. My dad was a butcher. You know, I grew up in the kitchen watching them do primal cuts. So we do our own prime grind. We, ha we got brisket, we got sirloin and short rib. It's an 80-20 blend. I rock them all the time. I'm sick and tired of doing this motion, man, because we do about a couple hundred to a thousand in, in a week span. You probably make the pusa, so. Oh, dude, that is like, feel the hands, man. They're so soft. Yeah. <laughs> We're the pusa ready, bro. Yo, oh, man, you gotta make a pusa burger, dog. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do that on the next gen. I saw the episode of SpongeBob where uh, they put jelly on a burger, so I'm gonna go with this one. Yeah. Yeah. made the fish. We're gonna get some napkins. Cause these are gonna be, you know, these are these are real burgers. They gotta get over your fingers, you know. You gotta get that slop. CeeLo's yeah. got that egg to pop. You've tried every, a lot of beers. Yes. People pair wine with a certain foods. But people kind of look at me strange. They're like, "What do you mean, pressure the foods with beer?" I was like, "Yeah, it's different. Like, cure oh, yeah. beers, yep. ceviche all day. Yep. Especially if you like, you know, introduce like spiciness into the, you know, to the element. You know, it's always some nice hop characteristics are nice. You know, to cut through that spiciness. Yeah. But you know, definitely like with the jam, the red, you know, the red meat. You know, stouts are always going to work. But yeah, I think beer is just as versatile, if not even maybe more versatile than wine with yep. food. You could do a lot of a lot of beer pairings, food pairings. Um, you know, I think it's something that's big, especially for like restaurants that do craft beer. They like to do a lot of pairing. Plus, I mean, we all grew up cooking, right? The kind of salad with beer. You know, beer is good just to use in just cooking in general. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I, I never felt that the the clear beer did justice for like carne asadas because you know my deals like to drink that nasty ass but like type shit. You know what I mean? So I was like, yeah, yeah, it, it didn't work when I tried doing. It. I was like, hey man, this shit makes me more full. You know what I mean? But uh, <laughs> all right, Chris, set it off. You, Go ahead, take that first bite. Bro. Oh man, yeah, I guess I'm gonna bite. Are you excited? I mean, bro, uh, yeah. I mean, you, you got the biggest burger out of all of us, bro. Yeah. Just, this is whoa! Look at all that. Right, look at pop. Look at, look at you that. Gotta just pop. You gotta go. You gotta go, bro. The yolk is poured. He's, oh! a, he's a tall man. He needs a bigger one. Oh, oh yeah. Well, I'm going with the you know the Woo Burger, and hopefully it makes me sing like that fish. It's like, hey, all you people. <laughs> <laughs> whoa! Oh my God! Yeah. Right, I'm gonna go. This one has jalapenos and bacon. I'm gonna go slow motion, Carl's Jr. style. <laughs> mm hmm. This is definitely the kind of food that could hang with craft beer. Ooh, that ghost pepper cheese? That burger got some kick. Yeah, this burger has a kick. Mm -hmm. Chorizo and the salsa give it a kick that in the egg yolk. It's a trip. Mm -hmm. I can't describe it, but it's delicious. Yeah, I love it. Does the egg yolk kind of cover the hotness? Is it kind of wet? 
A little bit, but not really. There's still the flavor of it. You know what I mean? Like, it's not as hot as I thought it would be. Which is awesome. Mm -hmm. I never thought that sweet and sour would go on a burger. Mm. You know what I mean? I never thought like the spicy and sweet would go on a burger so well. But man, the crunchy, the crunchiness of this bacon, the ghost pepper, uh, you know, spice, it's not too much for me. Cause you know, it's, look man, it's like, I know, I know I'm a Latino out there, but I don't like that hot shit. I don't like to sweat. You know what I mean? No, it's like, <laughs> not all of us like that shit, all right? <laughs> you got the right one then, but I like the heat on this. It's perfect. It's not overpowering, so you still taste all the ingredients. Yeah. You know, it's just right there. Ooh, that ghost pepper cheese. That burger got some kick. Yeah, this burger has a kick. Mm -hmm. Chorizo and the salsa give it a kick that from the egg yolk. It's a trip. Mm -hmm. I can't describe it, but it's delicious. Yeah, I does it, it. Does the egg yolk kind of cover the hotness or the kind of what? A little bit, but not really. There's still the flavor of it. You know what I mean? Like, it's not as hot as I thought it would be. Which is awesome. Mm -hmm. I never thought that sweet and sour would go on a burger. Mm. You know what I mean? I never thought like the spicy and sweet would go on a burger so well. But man, the crunchy, the crunchiness of this bacon, the ghost pepper, uh, you know, spice, it's not too much for me. Cause you know, it's, look man, it's like, I know, I know I'm a Latino out there, but I don't like that hot shit. I don't like to sweat, you know what I mean? No, like, <laughs> not all of us like that shit, all right? <laughs> you got the right one then, but I like the heat on this. It's perfect. It's not overpowering, so you still taste all the ingredients. Yeah. You know, it's just right there. But uh, yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, same with this burger. It's not overpowering. All the flavors. I taste the chorizo, I taste the salsa, the meat is fucking perfect. If you ever been to like an authentic diner, there's some there's certain things that people don't pay attention that makes an authentic diner. And so one thing is the bacon. Motherfuckers gotta know when to make it crispy, crunchy. This resembles of like that authentic, hey man, we take pride in what we make, you know, down to to every little detail. And the, yeah. the bacon is not that exaggerated special effects crunchy is just the right crunchy and that's it complements good. everything on there that's good yeah honestly we probably need to make burger gloves uh burger eating gloves after this uh -huh. i really think you're right yeah you guys should make high and hungry burger gloves we are we're definitely mm -hmm. gonna make those but i want to tell you guys Holy shit. if you if you want to come over here to arrowlock brewery there's more than a more than a couple reasons to do it number one you want to come over here and pick up some of this beer try it they always, they always keep reinventing new different flavors. They always keep bringing out new, new flavors. They always go ahead and give you guys that, what craft beer has to offer. But when you come here for an event, you're usually gonna see them pair up with a food vendor. Yeah. You know, my yeah, yeah, most definitely, you know. And uh, we could have chosen a bunch a bunch of different, you know, we, we had a list to choose from. We love burgers with the go-to munchie, and honestly, this was the best decision that we could have made because goddamn, this right here could hang with the high fucking percentage of alcohol like the stouts. It literally balanced me out. Home run with this and a home run with the beer. What else do you need? I mean, damn, you know, it's, and it's a nice parking lot, man. You know, damn, we get your hungry hungry though. I thought we were just done with burgers, but they have quite a unique menu. So this is like what their supreme version of a Dodger dog is. This yep. is a pretty big ass hot dog, man. It's a real yeah. Dodger dog. Yeah, it's a real Dodger dog. And it has everything, all the accoutrement ingredients that you yeah. might want in one of these hot dogs. It's kind of like the gourmet version of a street hot dog. Yeah. So we're going to end it with this. Let me let you know the burgers were all standing. And this is just a plus. And look out for a comedy event coming soon. Yes. Featuring these guys as well, too, as a food vendor. So, cheers. <laughs> Talk about if the street vendor lady ooh, had access to all crazy ingredients. Right. In a crazier kitchen. No disrespect to the hot dog lady outside, but not at all. This is uh, this, this is top notch right here. The Dijon mustard at the bottom. So hold on right there. Listen, I don't need to tell you anymore. You guys have seen the best of the best of the best of the best. Absolutely. Those three burgers. We sit down and had fucking lunch with the mayor of Covina, the owner of Arrow Lodge Brewery. Fuck that. 
and we're over here eating some bomb ass smash burgers from Son of a Butcher. Sure. You can go ahead and have this experience too if you just support and come show up at the brewery at one of these events that they got going on over here in the upcoming future. Maybe That's ours, cool. hopefully. So with that being said, can I get everybody to hit that thumbs up? Make sure you guys hit that subscribe. Make sure you guys follow us at High and Hungry TV. Go to highandhungry.shop. Follow me at Flavors by Eating on Stuff. Follow me at Ease on the Firm. I'm close to 40K. Give away at 40K. And uh, yeah, also make sure you look out for the We Don't Smoke the Same podcast. Uh, C minus. Yep. C minus. Uh, follow me at C minus fan four at all uh, social medias. Uh, that's IG. That's Twitter. That's Discord. Uh, you can follow me on display. Also on Twitch, you can follow me. I do mixes every uh, Monday through Friday there at 9, uh, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And also uh, DJCminus.com. Got a new t-shirt and a new mix-up. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching all the High and Hungries, all the uh, Dr. Nathan podcasts. And uh, we'll see you on this next High and Hungry.